Good day, welcome. It is October 9th, so 10-9. Coming to you with our daily guidance. I'm going to ask you to get into a comfortable position. Feet rooted on the floor, preferably the ground. I'm going to ask you to release any tension in your jaw in your shoulders we're going to do three deep cleansing breaths to ground us to harmonize us so palms open on your legs getting ready to take three centering breaths and as you breathe in through your nose drawing the energy through your crown chakra Take that breath all the way down through your whole body and blow out your feet, anchoring to the earth. So let's begin. Allow your crown chakra to expand. Feel that breath all the way down through your throat chakra, heart. solar plexus, your belly, sacral, root, and then blow that breath out through your feet. We're going to do that three times. Imagine that breath going all the way down through the soil to Mother Earth's core, visualizing a silver cord. One more breath through the crown chakra, all the way through your body, through your feet with the exhale, anchoring that silver cord to the core of Mother Earth. Now with the in-breath, draw that breath in through your feet, all the way up through your body, and exhale through your crown chakra, connecting, connecting us to the dimensions of heaven and other veils. Two more. might feel a little bit lightheaded, a little bit of tingling, whether it be in your feet, your hands, your crown chakra. Recalibrating our energy, our life force, balancing, harmonizing. Three more breaths with your left hand over your heart chakra. Take three deep breaths in with an exhale, every inhale in, feel your heart expanding. Okay. We got tingles going on. My hands are on fire. And it's funny because I was listening to some of my spiritual stuff yesterday and what I call the constellation of Draco. It's Draconids, I believe. The meteor showers that are at peak right now. I was in dream state last night. And um, fire, the element of fire is coming up a lot right now. And I want to let everybody know that the full moon in Aries coming up on the 13th is in a fire sign. It's ruled by Mars, I do believe. So today, just we're coming into that. The ebbs and the flows of us sensitives can feel energy a couple days before, a couple days after. If you're irritable today, take some centering breaths into your heart chakra. Exhale that. Um... 
you know, in balance and in harmony, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It's a full moon, so it's coming into fruition. It's huge, it's expanding. So energies can feel within you very, very expanded today. Coming into this full moon, tomorrow's a 1010 portal. Um, what I feel that is, and this is just my own feeling, discernment of the 1010. Um, I'm not about predictions, but what I realized is that God is, I am, we are, so everything is connected. It's not, astrology was never meant to be, you know, in, in stone, written and predicting what your free will decisions and choices are. As a spiritual being living a, uh, in a human experience, we have free will. And so what it is for me, though, astrology is a huge guidance. I can pinpoint most of the time and decipher going, ooh, this is being highlighted by X planet today or the moon. And I always share the moon on us on our channel because we're feelers and we're healers. And so that's that deep feelings. Today, the moon is in Pisces. Very water, very can be very spiritual, can be very deep. Um and so the moon phase we're in today, you can feel very lofty, like in the spiritual sense, daydreaming. That's okay. Feel it. Take it with you, you know. Whatever you're feeling today, it's okay. Just, just remember that. Back to the Aries full moon coming up on the 13th. I think it's huge because like I shared yesterday, the 13th is a very sacred feminine um, number, goddess number intuition compassion and so but also aries ruled by mars can be very hot-headed can be very act before think act before thinking um so just keep that in mind i think it's a huge beautiful thing you know um learning or relearning astrology because it's it just it matters um creator created all things and so for so long we've some of us maybe you haven't been taught oh astrologies of blah 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 no it's not i think it's just realizing that the power that it has to help us with our free will and to guide us like a rudder on our vessel is really super duper cool the 1010 portal for me i feel this it may resonate with you it may not is all of those planets and everything that just came through Libra all together collectively we are healing so much from past wounds past lives and I really feel this 1010 portal is a is a doorway in the galaxy a doorway within us to go we can't go back on those old programs we can't go through all of those fears those lies those inauthentic um anything that's inauthentic so i really feel in my heart of hearts we'll see how this goes i'm, I'm excited about it this 1010 portal for you for i for for me um i just really feel like it's an expansion of us to be able to walk forward going it's the portal of <coughs> we're not those old stories anymore we don't choose to to believe those lies i'm centered in my heart i know my truth i know my way um i'm walking forward so i think it's a beautiful opportunity for all of us to just really practice the pause and think about that for a minute what does it feel like for you what's brewing within you this channel being an empath channel, sensitives, we're all feelers. So perhaps you haven't done your, any of your work yet. That's also going to come down the chute to where it's getting pressured because I just, the no more fence sitting, the no more gray areas, you're sure of yourself. And so it's not to shame. That's a huge thing that we're, we've been dropping with all these karmic patterns that it's been ingrained within us is fear doubt worry we're more anchoring into no i'm a child a divine child of god 
you are all my brothers and sisters. It's all connected. We're going to start taking care of our planet. We're not going to deplete our soil. We're going to honor the fact that the trees are living beings and support us as well. And Mother Earth as well as shifting along with us. So what a, a beautiful symbolic um, thing is just to know that like the Mother Earth being the womb that sustains us and supports us and nurtures us and remembering that we are connected to all things. Our societies wanted us to feel disconnected from everything and it's not going to be at the benefit of anybody. Not the human race, not the planet. She'll go on and cleanse and purge herself. It's up to us, our free will. So that's where I say the astrology isn't to predict. The astrology isn't to find your love for you. No, like I said yesterday on Daily Guidance, find that sacred union within you, harmonizing your love, your compassion with your taking leadership, taking action. You're protected, you're supported, and you're divinely you're just divinely protected. All you need to do is ask. So from the Mystical Shaman Oracle, I'm just feeling on fire today. I'm feeling a lot of body things, a little bit of that meta little breath work we just did. I was tingling and my hands were on fire everywhere. So I'm going to get out in fresh air today. I just ask for God's presence to fill me up. And allow me to expand my heart continuously and continuing to be of service to send in that overflow to each one of you. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new today, this is a no edit channel. It is my passion to come on and encourage sensitive souls. <clears throat> if you listened to my energy update yesterday, I got cut short because I have too many pictures in my phone oh wow this is awesome because this came up to me last night too huh. Huh. card number 35 the medicine wheel and before i share this i want to say that the constellation of draco that we're getting the meteor showers from right now is the dragon that's wrapped around the north pole with the stars and it's a protection it's the it's it's the medicine it's like this it's like the serpent wrapped around our north pole i thought that was huge that came to me last night i'm like wow it's the dragon that's wrapped around the north pole that's like the the healing serpent that's the kundalini of mother earth now the medicine wheels coming up today i'm seeing this is this is beautiful man has taken this serpent and put it on pharmaceutical and medical and what the true definition of the serpent is is the healing ability that we have within ourselves the holistic the listening to our body and healing that wow we have like what is a cougar a leopard and there's a bird stuck in here right now i cannot believe it anyway a distracted by a beautiful woodpecker that says hello I'm here to encourage you oh my gosh that's so cool you can't make this shit up ah, the eagle the hummingbird I see the feathers and I see the serpent wrapped around it what does this mean to me to me I'm seeing that we know we're fierce we're an energy to be reckoned with I, fe I feel with the eagle it's the wisdom that we're gaining by listening to our bodies and with that serpent and the hummingbird up top is facing look at it's got the arrow facing north as well ooh la la that serpent wrapped around the whole staff thing you know is always meant to be a medicinal healing holistic healing whether it be your energy work whether it be reiki whether it be herbs plants teas it was never meant to be the the toxic chemicals now i'm not shaming anybody that has to go with that route but what i feel like western medicine has done has taking that healing ability that we all have and go here a pill's gonna fix you well no if many of us on the path don't already know you never heal from the 
the man-made pills. It's a band-aid. So I'm not shaming that because there's a time and place for that. But that was never meant to be our main go-to to to heal us. We're all healers. We can heal ourselves. Um, don't feel defeated if you can. If you've done, you're doing your work, and you have to have something done, then bless it. That's the way it's supposed to be. I'm just really a reminder of the wisdom and the knowledge of our healing abilities. We are healers. We're healers. Wow. Well, the medicine wheel is a sacred hoop with four cardinal directions well marked. It represents the cycle of life, the cycles of nature, the circular pattern of our cosmos. Here we go. All connected, guys. Perfect. It has been used for millennia in indigenous cultures to bring harmony and well-being to their village. Its directions symbolize the four steps the shaman takes to become a person of power and wisdom. To manifest clear blue skies in your life, it's important that you take a look at certain aspects of your being. Enter the medicine wheel from the south and reflect on how you are still clinging to the events of your past. South node, releasing that, we're in this 1010 portal. It's an opportunity for us to go, I am not those old stories. I don't believe those programs. I'm stepping through the portal to my divinity, to my Christ consciousness, to, to my divinity. Oh my God, you can't make this up. Can't make it up. Enter the medicine wheel from the south and reflect on how you are still clinging to events from the past. Continue to the west and notice which relationships are toxic and drain your energy. Step into the north and ask yourself, do I know my passion and do I show it? End at the east. Visualize how you want to live the next chapter of your life. It is up to you how much time you spend in each direction. Days, minutes, months, but when you are done, make sure you step outside the wheel and contemplate your journey. Spirit amazes me. Spirit, the south, no, when you get to the south, am I, am I those old programs? No, like I just said before we drew the card. Collectively, that's what we're doing. And I feel in my heart of hearts, take what resonates, leave the rest. This portal tomorrow is a huge release for some. If you fight it, it's going to feel heavy and dense. I'm not saying that any of us are surrendering to it that aren't going to feel intensity because everything's been intense. Let go your old stories that don't mean not talk about it, but I don't believe those lies. I'm not a dirty little sinner. I am not the bad kid of the family. I am not this. I'm not limited. I am a healer like the serpent. I have the ability within me, so do you, to heal thy wounds. Release those wounds, because if you don't, that's where we see people numbing. I did it myself with alcohol or drugs or it doesn't matter what. No, drop it. Heal the wounds. You'll heal your addictions to those things that are not good for you and not good for your vessel. Really stepping into your power when you walk out and go, I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, facing my fears, releasing wounds that were so, so very deep, and I'm going to rise in this Christ consciousness collectively with the whole planet, and I'm going to love, and I'm going to share compassion and wisdom like the ego, and I'm going to have my voice, and I'm going to fly above all of the hurts, past wounds, letting go of all those so south new node excuse me past wounds past programs step out of the programming of the matrix step into your authentic power and you'll find much more peace and balance within you i believe the portal of tomorrow is that opening and i think it's no coincidence that the full moon on the 13th goddess number feminine number love and compassion number but also in aries could um aries is first so self, huge, beautiful, um, ever-expanding message. I hope that you enjoyed today's daily guidance. If you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, and please do share. It's helping me get out there. Um, there's people that need to hear the messages. And also I have a Facebook page group 
called Divine Destiny and the Rise of Empath. Would love to see you there. I send this to you with so much love and many blessings to you. Namaste.